Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we arrived into beautiful Alvor, a little anchorage only a couple of miles away from Lagos. We did run aground coming in through the shallow entrance, but once we were in, we got anchored, relaxed, and were able to just enjoy the serenity. I suppose, look, there's always a, a balance when we're traveling between seeing places for the first time and having that kind of first flourish of, oh my God, why haven't we been here before? This is the best place on earth. And the familiarity with returning to a place that we've been to before that we loved. And to tell you the truth, I, I like a mix of both. I'd probably suggest that I like a mix which is more familiar to new than new who likes more new than familiar but yeah this is a bloody awesome anchorage and what we've both said is that we came here what three years ago we spent a couple of nights here and moved on mm. and it's just you know you you kind of if we hadn't returned we'd have probably had this impression that oh we've been to Alvor we've seen Alvor this is just an amazing amazing place but anyway it's supremely pretty I mean you know it's and I think the other thing is I and mean, this is a bit like it smells of Europe. Yeah. Like there's certain smells that to me, I don't know, are very evocative of places and Southern Europe in summer smells. It's pine trees and herbs and, you know, the, the flowers. It just smells, it smells amazing. And I the don't- The wood smoke, the wood smoke. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't remember those smells in the Caribbean. I mean, we were in the Caribbean for two years. It just I doesn't- I think if we went back to the Caribbean, we'd be like, oh God, now, you know, the smell I can, I can smell the Caribbean. I think that you have to go back somewhere to recognise that. Yeah. Kind of and I suppose this is a this is a smell that's familiar to me. You know, I've kind of grown up in Southern Europe, so. Yeah. Can we go down the beach? Yeah. One of the many awesome things about Alvor 
is that it's a drying lagoon. So you have all of the sandbanks within the lagoon that uh, kind of appear at low water. Uh, and then at high water they're gone so it means that the landscape is always changing which is really really cool every time you look up you're you've got something else to look at something different to look at uh, which is just awesome it's just it makes it such an interesting place to be visually um, and it is quite spectacular uh, these you know kind of shifting sandbanks or these tidal sandbanks are really really beautiful and uh, we've seen we, we haven't seen it yet this year but last time we were here, uh, it was during school holidays and what people used to do, it was a lot busier. And what people used to do was to come to the sandbank for the time that it was there. So for low water, a couple of hours either side of low water. And they'd bring all their picnic stuff and they'd just set up and have a picnic um, on the sandbank. And then just wait for the tide to come in and uh, the sandy island to be reclaimed and then they just jump in their boat and, and head back and uh, yeah it, it just is a really really cool kind of uh, thing to do it's a really cool landscape so we're really happy to be here once again <music> Greetings from Portugal. Now we're going to play a game. It's like a cross between charades and beer. So it's going to be called Shabiz. <laughs> <laughs> called Shabiz. I've only got one title for my Shabiz. So it's a Western. And you have to guess the name of the Western. Hang on. <laughs> Alright. This is the this is it. This is the Western. Alright, this is a uh, hang on. What's the western? I don't know. Bush. No. Come on, think of famous westerns. Or you don't know. You don't know anything about modern uh, culture. The Quick and the Dead. No, not the Quick and the Dead. Um, that one with um, that guy. No, that guy. Brilliant. Um, it's an old western. It's in the seventies. Clint Eastwood. Yes, it's a Clint Eastwood western. Um, Come on, the most famous of all westerns. I don't know. Come I, on. I haven't actually seen it. Come on, it's three words. Hang on. The, the something, the something, and the something. The, uh, the, the short no. something. <laughs> <laughs> the something on. about the bad and the ugly. Right, so what's the first word? The... Come on. The bush? No, not the bush, the bad. <laughs> <laughs> the bush, the bad and the ugly. The, the quick? No, the dead? No, no, not quick, dead. Come on. The... What's the opposite of good? Bad. The bad, the bad and the ugly? Oh, the good. <laughs> <laughs> ragged. How did you manage to get... How did you manage to get to your age without like walking into a doorknob and killing yourself? I have it. <laughs> I have it a lot. The so good. tell me, do you want a little drum roll? Yes. It the, is. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> is it really the good, the bad, and the ugly? Yes, it is. That doesn't seem to roll off the tongue very well. Anyway. I blame the title, not me. Oh, do you want the good, the bad, and the ugly? Oh, okay. Um, I think I have the good. Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. You want the bush? No, I want the ugly, I guess. I want the calic. No, I don't really want the calic. I do want the sagras. Thank you. But I want you to have the sagras as well. No, I want, I want the calic. You want the calic? Nobody wants the bush. <laughs> Said the art mistress to the gardener. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, baby.
Next week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we anchor outside of Lagos very briefly, just so I can scrub the bottom. The water is freezing. And then we head to Cardiz. It's an overnight passage and the weather is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. There we go. Cheers, bye.